Hey everybody, this is Buddy. Well, I met this guy probably two months ago. Yeah, and now he's upgraded to this mongoose version of an electric bike. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, it's got a thousand watt motor. Um, it's got the uh, two solar panels that I originally had. And uh, it's got a lithium battery. And uh, I tested it the other day and went 101 miles. 101 miles? Without, without stopping. Down County Line Road or just in this area? Or? In this area, yeah. Okay. I thought I seen you. You were way ahead of me and moving really fast. It was cloudy that day, too. It was part, partly cloudy. Yeah. I think I can go 100, at least 150 miles. And what kind of day. clip you're averaging a mile an hour average? Well, the other day when it was cloudy, I averaged about 13. But I think I can do maybe 18. 18 average? Without pedaling. Yeah, yeah. If I wanted to pedal, I could do 25, 30. Goodness! Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, we seen phase one. It was your daughter's little moped thing, and now you uh -huh. got your show sure enough rig with uh, suspension and everything. You got, you got good tires on it, so you can go. If you had to go down a gravel road, you could. Could, yeah. Yeah, it, it handles pretty nice at 20. I, I've got it to a 22, but uh, you know I'm not real brave. I think it'd go 30, but I, <laughs> I don't. I can barely go 30 downhill. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's so, great. So yeah, it's uh, it's definitely an improvement. So are you going to keep working on the Im improvement of the actual motor parts? No. What I'm going to do, my next bike, if I do one, will be a three-wheel bike. The solar panels will be above my head. Oh. It'll look okay. more like a car. Okay. But it'll be a three-wheel bike. A three-wheel type bike with, yes. yeah, really lightweight equipment. The, the, well, now, the, the when you, one, you excuse me, when you said the motor, is that the motor that we're yes. looking at, the black thing around the hub? Yes. Yep, it, that's the motor. Okay. All right. I've never seen one exactly like that. Yep. And you got almost the same controller. Uh, that, yep. Actually, uh, it. This was the exact same controller, but it quit on me, and I put. I used the one that came with the solar panels, and it seemed to be more efficient. I think it's because this one had LED light, and I think it was drawing more power, sucking the machine itself. So this El Cheapo is doing a really good job. Okay. Does have any other of the bikers that you know that you know the bikers that ride you know road bikes have they talked to you like I have? Uh, yeah, quite a few people stopped me. Good. <laughs> good. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, I'm just curious to see what the biking community really thinks about it because in the back of our minds, you know, we think, yeah, that that's going to be the future, actually, of uh, communicate, well, communi uh, what do you call transport, you know. I went into the bike shop uh, in Springfield, and uh, I was amazed by how many electric bikes there was. Amazed. Yeah. Because I hadn't been in there in quite a long time. I went in there to get a tube or something, and, and there's, they've got these uh, electric bikes all over the place. All over the place. They let me drive one. They had one in there, pretty smooth. I, I wanted it, but uh, now when the battery runs down on them, you have to charge it up. But you got oh, yeah. your charger with you. Yes. Well, that's yes. really cool. I had this all, this all, you know, I had that set up on my daughter's bike, and so I said, well, and I already had this bike, and I was, well, it's not going to cost much to put a motor on it, and see what it can do on a bigger wheel. Yeah. So this wheel, so much taller than, you know, it's 26 inches. The last one was 12. Yeah. So it doesn't have to work. You know, once it gets up to speed, it doesn't have to work very hard to to maintain speed. And I upgraded battery. I had lead batteries, and lithiums are a lot better. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, That's the future in it, yeah. Well, my next one, it may be a three-wheel. Maybe a three-wheel with the, the solar panels on top, on top, so you're not dragging. It'll be much lighter. Okay. It'll be the real deal. So this is just an, another test. Now I know I can go all day. I went eight hours. Uh, Two days ago. Okay. And I, and I started at 10:45 in, in the morning because I had some troubles. I could have, I could have gone another couple hours. You're walking your walk and talking your talk. Because mm -hmm. you told me you was gonna do it last time I seen you. So next time I see him, we may see another upgrade from this all the way to the three wheeler that he's talking about. Yep. Appreciate it, man. Have a good day. So how long have you had it hooked up? We're going two hours. Two hours. This is a test drive? Yeah. 
I went the other day four hours and I had to get back home to get my daughter off the bus. But uh, it'll it'll go all day. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go seven hours today. Okay. But uh, I'm you... building. I'm, it's only got a 350 watt motor, and uh, I'm getting a bigger motor because the solar panels can push a bigger motor. Uh huh. Mm hmm. And uh, how many watts are these each? Those are 160 watts. 160 watts each. Yeah. So they're pretty much pushing that 350 watt motor, you know, maxed when the yeah. sun's when the sun's up. Yeah. So when you accelerate, did you fix it where when you accelerate, you you? I know how fast to go. Yeah. Yes. I watch. Uh, this is. I've got my uh, my controller set where I can watch. I can flip it to the uh, voltage. And if my voltage is getting around to 35, 36, uh -huh. I'm pushing it too hard. Okay. So then I just slow so, down. So that's that way you know. But when you give it gas, uh -huh. how did you design it to, to know that you're giving gas to the motor? It just... Did, it was already an electric motor. It's all set up. All I did was hook the solar panels and the... I hooked uh, the solar panels and the battery into this controller and just and that's all you really that's need it because really when need. you give it gas it's just naturally it's taking, putting it's just taken from the battery it's got batteries in there okay so it's, it's taking it it's and just it's naturally just naturally taking them from the batteries like it normally would i'm just feeding it juice like it's being charged and plugged in okay and so oh that's cool and right now it's at 30 39 volts and i've been going two hours and max max is about 40. and while you're sitting here you're charging yes so I, that I'm not is set cool. too long or I'll skew my, my, my test. But, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't want you to run your, t I don't want to run your data. <laughs> right, right. So, uh, you must live close. A couple miles away. Okay. Yeah, I, I probably, this thing set up to, you know, without the solar panels, it'd probably go two or three miles. Uh -huh. I've probably done uh, 20, 25 and I'll do 50, 60 today. It looks brand new, but like you were saying, your daughter, you bought it for your daughter, but she, yes. she's a little too little and yes. afraid of it. She and was afraid of it. So daddy took it over and so modified I wasn't gonna, it. I wasn't going to let let it set and the batteries go dead. And, yeah. Uh, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to test it out. I always wanted to. <laughs> okay, let me look. Now, you don't have no blinky light. No. Oh, you need to get one. Look at this one on the back of my bicycle. Yes. That little blinky light right there, you can find it online. Yes. And that's the kind that you really want right there. Okay. But you definitely need one of yes. them. Yes. On my next vehicle, I'll get one because I'll be going much faster and uh, further. Okay. I, I stay within 10 miles of my house, 5, 10 miles of my house and just do circles all day. Cool. Yeah. All right. Talk to you later, man. All right. Have a good day. Nothing could have prepared the audience for what they were to witness at the 1996 International Chinese Internal Arts Festival. A glimpse of the true nature and higher potential of Qi power.